there, fellow wanderers of the field. Startless Plains here. Welcome back to another episode of West of Loathing. Now, I said myself last week that I'll be able to uh, level myself up with my character over here since I've been getting a long streak of loses from different kinds of creatures, humans, and all that when trying to get specific items and all that. So, that's definitely my main objective this time for this game. Of course, I said that before, so... Alright. I know this may take a while for me to level myself up to the point where I feel like I'm basically strong enough to, uh, to defeat those enemies of mine. Yeah, I definitely need a lot of uh, skilling up to do over here, so yeah. Let's, let's look at the map. Mm, let's go wander for a bit. Huh. As you're riding along, you see some braided fuses sticking out by a nearby rock. Investigating more closely, you see somebody drilled a hole in the rock. It's that it inserted a bunch of dynamite. Ooh, more dynamite for me. Yay! Ooh, three of them. Nice. Alright, wander. Hmm. You come across the corpse of a cowboy. How do you know it's a corpse of a cowboy? Well, you see by his outfit that he is a cowboy, and you see by his lack of flesh that he is a corpse. Well, give him a proper bur burial. Yay, 20, 20 XP. You dig a grave and put the body's remains in it. It was the least I can do. Alright, so enough, enough of it. Um, Might as well level up some more. So enjoy this little montage of me just going through a bunch of uh, battles and all that. And boop. Oh, that there's a full of cows. And I ain't letting you go anywhere. It ain't it ain't safe for regular folks to let regular folks. Y'all go ahead and turn back around. Well, thanks for the warning, but what if I refuse? I'll use force if I gotta. I wanna ensure my safety by beating me up. I recognize the conundrum, but that's the times we're living in. Let Susie handle this. Appreciate the warning, but I don't love a dead damn cow tell me where I can and can't go. I ain't about to start now. I get what you're saying, but I think you're underestimating. I wanna count the notches on my rifle, but uh, all right, get your own heads then. Hey, no, the cow, the cowboy waves at you. Awesome. Not bad. Crap. Oh shit. Ah, oh, damn it. That's not good. Hmm. Spot a guy running down on the road on a brown horse, wearing a brown fur hat and carrying a brown shopping bag with a brown loaf of stolen bread sticking out the top. You can't tell it's stolen because the bag has a little picture of a loaf of bread on it. He writes in the brandishes, a great big loaf of bread at you, and over all your bread or I'll plunge you to death. Jeez, you sure you like bread, huh? Yeah, it's kind of my thing. Hmm. Offer him in infinite bread. I don't like- Listen. You know that old saying, give a man a fish and he eats for a day, teach a man to fish and he eats for the lifetime? I don't like fish, I just like bread. You're kind of missed the point. I'll go slowly. You write down your mom's bread recipe and explain it to him in a short words. He you, he gives you his large and very stale loaf of bread in exchange and rides away excitedly. Oh, a hard loaf. Wow. You counter a goblin chef at a, harv at a harvesting fruit produce, by which it means knocking lumps of cactus. It gives you some real, real side eye when it sees you. Try to communicate? Hey, uh, hi there. Look, black guy. Look, look. Okay, might as well attack. Better help out. Oh, not bad. We're already gonna need your help. Uh, gotta get my. Just. Ooh, nice. That's it. Shoot. Awesome, Bernie. And attack! Yay! I got rid of it! Kitchen pants, nice. Oh, on there! Ooh, Fort Treason. You see a partially burned military signpost off the road of the trail. It says Fort Treason with an arrow. But the part that says how far it is is burned off. It ranks in the direction of the arrow for about 40 feet and see the fort. Apparently, it was 40 feet away. You discover a new map. Huh, investigate it now. Nice. Oh, it's up there. Clap it a clap it a clap it a clap it a clap. Oh, nice. New area. Hmm. Nobody here. Let's check the bear. Oh boy. That don't look good. 
Let's try the barracks. Mm. Ooh, goodies. Nice. Uh, pick. Got jelly, go, plum pudding, and instant grits. Anything I could... Ooh, pick the lock. Nice. Artillery targeting flare, silver bullet, and chemical bullet. Nice. Uh, kick it open. Uh, kick! Smell and salts, military green whiskey, artillery saber. Nice. All right, but first let me check my inventory. Hmm, artillery saber. Uh, plus six attack pistol, seven, nine. Mine has a lot more damage. Wait. Yeah. Now, let's check what kind of pants that... Ooh, look at this. Hmm, this hat's original owner was a crack shot, but also lost his gun in a card game and he got eaten by a bear almost immediately afterwards. Seven plus attack damage. Seven plus pistol attack damage. I wonder what mine is. Uh, two plus armor, seven plus muscle. I'm good. Um, what kind of pants? Let's see, kitchen pants. Ooh, hot resistant, cold resistant, spooky, and stench. Now, uh, what's mine? Spooky resistance, and plus two armor. Um, uh, I'll go for the resistance over here. Shit, it's Oh, wait a minute. 15 spooky resistance. 20 spooky resistance. Awesome. That's 5% more. Nice. All right. What else? Military great whiskey. Artillery targeting flare. This flare produces a huge plume of smoke, and where there's smoke, that's where you should fire. Hmm. It's a grits, plum pudding, jelly escargot. Increases your moxie by three for the rest of the day. I get an effect. Escargot sophistication. It's clear from the snail slime dripping from your chin that you enjoy the finer things in life. Ugh. Might want to wipe it down with a... Might want to wipe it down with a, um, a napkin or bandana or whatever. Now it's escargot. Nice. Nice pun. All right. Uh, what's with the shock weed in extract? You extracted this crackling, bubbling fluid from one of those weird electric weeds that grow in the woods up north. It increases your spell damage by 10 for the rest of the day. Nice. Uh, I'll leave it there. Infernal soul fragment. Ooh. Examine. And destroy. Yay! Then get hence the little doggy. Alright. Um, that should be all for now. Let's explore more. Do, 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 do. Uh, kick! Private Lemon's Diary. Uh, military Grey Whiskey and Incinerary Bullets. Two of them. Alright. Kick it. Oh! Private Matho Mathos. Ooh! Key to PO Box 114. Nice! Uh, incinerary and chemical. All right, let's check the diaries. Oh, no, I don't need the map. I need the inventory. Uh, let's see. Click. Click, click, click. Oh, yeah, I'm already on it. I'm an idiot. All right, play lemons. All right, there's a immaculately cared for standard army issue diary labeled Private Lemon. It's private in two ways, of course. It's private as in, pro like, privacy and private as, like, a, a military rank. Whichever kind of military, uh, um, thing you wanted to call it. Alright. Private Lemon's diary is pretty dry and not very interesting. Just a list of the day-to-day -day duties of a straight-laced soldier up in the hills without saying anything to fight. Towards the end, though, it starts to mention their commanding officer, Captain Simon, beginning increasingly agitated and convinced that a nearby ranch has been used as a spy outpost. Lemon doesn't sound convinced, but as one, annoying Bailey, entry puts in, orders are orders. Exactly. Last few entries have to do with distance in the ranks and the possibility of mutiny, the thought of which Lemon of abhors. The rest of the pages are blank. Okay, so... Alright, next up is pri Private Mathal... Mathal's... Is supposed to be Matthew or... Mathal's? I don't know, however you spell it. Alright. A battered and dog-eared army issued diary. The cover says Private Mathal, barely legible in the co collage of gravy stains. Gravy stains? Hmm. Most of Private Mathal's uh, diary is empty pages, ink splotches, and latrine duties again, blah, 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 near the end. Though, you started to see in the notes about Ford, Ford's commanding officer, Captain Simon, going off the deep end. As Mathal's... Mateo... Mateo... I think it's Mateo? Mateo? I don't know. Well, however you spell it, uh, you, um, hey... Everyone, if you're ever, ever to know the pronunciation of that name, can you uh, please put it in the comments below? All right. S. Mateo, or Mathal. Mathal, whatever. Or I should put it as M. Or as Anne puts it, being stuck out here in the middle of nowhere, doing nothing is driving the captain friggin' bog, bug nuts. 
When the captain eventually decides what a nearby ranch, occupied to, to, by a solitary woman and her book collection, was actually an empty spy outpost, M felt compelled to warn the woman, but was too worried about getting court-martialed to give her any specific details of the looming threat. In an attempt to prevent an imminent cannon bombardment of the ranch, M stole some ballistic charts and hid them in a po post office box during a sh during a shore leave in dirt water. This place doesn't have any damn shore, he commented. What the hell? Unfortunately, the cannons have already been calibrated, and when M returned to the camp, he discovered the shelling had already begun. In his last entry, he declares his intent to start a mutiny, but the diary ends there with no conclusion to the story. Um. Hmm. I guess my best bet is that he must have, I don't know, either fled or probably got killed within the within the mutiny or something. I don't know. Well, his fate uh, lies within your hands. See what you see what you think in the comments below. Interesting. All right. So let's head over to the PO box over at Dirt Water. All right. That's all. Oh wait, oh, that's the same one. All right. Well. This must have been where they stored all their fire. Hmm. I guess that's it. All right. Let's head to dirt water. And clap and clap and clap. You hear a groaning noise a short distance away. And when investigate, and investigate. A cowboy is a cowpoke is sitting against a rock with his leg bent in the way that seems incorrect. What happened? Dang horse threw a rod and I fell off. I think I bust bust one of my dancing arms. Yeah, let's give him a ride back to dirt water. You help the guy back to get onto the back of your horse and give him a ride, give him a lift back to town. Thank you kindly, stranger. I'd say I owe you one, but it seems doubtful we'll ever meet again. Ugh, no problem, whoever your name is. All right. All right. All right. You found P.O. Box uh, 114, for which you found the key at Fort Treason. Alright, let's open. Fort Treason Ballistics Chart. You open the box, it it's empty except for a single sheet of cards stocked with columns of newspapers in it in tiny print. There's a chart for army guys that explain how more effectively destroying things from a distance. Hey, any mail for me? Mmm, darn it. Well, I'd like to send a postcard. Alright. Alright. All right. All right. Let's check out the ballistics chart. Just, uh, read it. Let's see. This chart is full of details on the precision firing of the demi demi coverin artillery cannon. You can't think of any reason you want to know about that. Fine. Well, I'd like to know more about it, but why you ain't giving me any more details? Darn it. All right. Oh. Yeah. Wait, has anything changed around here? Nope. Hmm. Alright. So, what should I do next? Oh. I just will check out the Dirt Water Mercantile. Hello there, welcome to Dirt Water Mercantile! Hmm. Alright. Oh, another Van's Feet Crap. Good! Wow, look how much uh, meat I have right now. Whew. Soda crackers, bar of soap. Uh, plum pudding and a sausage. That's it. Oh, I would have figured there might be something else around here, so... I'll sell this. I'll sell the black hood. Oh, I still got another blank postcard. Nice. Character jeans, no need for that. Crowbar. Oh yeah, I still need to price some stuff open. I'll leave that. Desert Gang six gun. Might as well sell that. Uh, Deputy pistol. Might as well sell that. Mushroom covered bone. Uh, I'm going for right now. All right. Oh yeah, you go for the bean craft. Let's see what new bean crafts will. Let's see, is a cookbook a book cook? Awesome. Great. All right. Let's see. Bean wall, wari, and butter bean. Hmm. What should I do? What should I get? 
Let's see, beam wall creates a wall of beans to provide cover for range attacks. Wari increases maximum HP, and Butter Bean is a spell that reduces opponent's muscle, mysticality, and moxie. You know what? That could actually be useful because instead of uh, like attacking and defending, I might as well uh, lower the stats of my enemies. So might as well get the Butter Bean. Woohoo! You stimulate the combinations of beans and butter until you mastered every aspect of it. Unfortunately, a lot of butter got splattered into the book while you were practicing, and now it's totally illegible. Darn it. Eh. Uh, the spell lets you conjure a giant bean made of pure butter, then use it to gum up an opponent's work. Hmm. Nice. 1 AP. Yuck. Alright, I think that's it. Alright. Still have yet to find a wipe for you, Cactus Bill. Oh, wrong one. Map! Let's see. What should I go for next? Wait, the Greco. Wait, Great Garbanzo Hideout. I don't know about that, because I've already got an Arcane Oven back at Dirtwater. Let's see. I know there's a lot of places that I still need to, uh, get. Maybe I could try Old Granite again. Hold on. You come across a deserted campsite. There's a sign of struggle. But the only intact object is a crate with military stencil in it. You think it's military, at least. It's hard to tell with all the mushrooms. Oh yeah, the crate also, you like, covered in mushrooms. Uh, I kind of buried the lead here. Looks pretty flimsy, but you're not 100% sure you want to touch it. Oh well, crowbar. Plug salts, full canteen, heart attack. You probably the lid over carefully to avoid the mushrooms, just in case you grab the supplies. Wow, there's a lot of stuff in here. Nice. Huh, built tonic, smelling salts, bottle of little datum. Let's hit the- Let's get back on the trail, soldier! Alright, let's head to Old Granddad again. Let's see if we can defeat that one goblin again. And this time... Alright, let's see if we can defeat him again. Alright. Bernie, I'm gonna need you. Alright. Gonna need my bean shield. And... Let's see if I can lower his stats and gum him up. Yeah. Then let's disable him for one round. Yeah! Round of the goblin. Go, oh, Bernie. Defeat him. Darn it. Let's see. Stench. Darn it. So I guess, guess I'm going to have to deal with this. Yeah. Not bad. And range attack. Awesome. Go ahead. So far, so good. Spooky. Nope. Steals 5 HP. Oh, I could deal with another one. Nice. And throw. Awesome. Shoot. Ow. <clears throat> All right. Stench damage. Awesome. And you shoot. Awesome. Finally, I did better than the last episode. Goblin Trash Sack, Goblin Absinthe, another Goblin Absinthe, and Goblin Coffee. This cup is a hot, dirt juice goblins prefer as coffee. Eh. Ooh. Plus 10% item finding bonus. Some Goblin seem Seamster made this bag out of several different kinds of fabric. That's probably some muslin. Oh, I, I thought I said something else. And there's something. It goes in your offhand. Awesome. Nice. Hooray! All right. Eeny. Good boy. Got one. Yikes. Ow. Hmm. Leave him alone. Ow. Oh, what's this? There's a, there's a gash. There's a gash in the wall of cactus here, revealing a veiny, sticky purple goo. What's this? Pile of goblin junk. Blech. Ow. All right, let's deal with him. Let's see. Fights! Oh, not bad. Not bad. All right. Bernie, gonna need you! Uh, that. And... Melee damage. Disable him! Awesome. All right. Let's decrease his stuff. Oh, it looks 
looks like Susie uh, gained a new, uh... Darn it. This is not good. All right, let's get rid of him. Susie! All right, no. Let's hope I get through this. Oh, flip, this is not good. Father, father. Hell yeah, get rid of him. Lava, fava, burn down! Yeah! Goblin coffee. Awesome! That was a close one. Ow! She was getting a lot of. S Ooh, what's this? Hmm. This table is covered with flask, beakers, bottles, tubes, burners, and all the equipment that makes up a super elaborate alchemy table, including a whole bunch of different colored liquids and powders and stuff. Leave well, leave well enough alone. Aw, oh, man, I'm gonna try out some alchemy. Alright. Hey. Clock, 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 clock. Alright. Mmm. This, mystica this mysticality is up there. Let's see. Alright. King Golem, come on. Or Bernie, I mean. Alright. Let's raise this. And. Put him down! Yeah! Go, Bernie! Yeah! Good job! Alright. Stench. Eight damage, eight damage. I'll go for melee. Not bad. Alright. Shoot, Susie! Hell yeah! Oh my god, what the hell? Oh shit, that's not good. All right, I can do this. Yep, we can do this. Shoot, Susie! Yeah! Awesome! All right, Goblin Coffee and Goblin Ascent. Hmm. Hooray! All right. Wait. I can at least, I can at least level up a few things. Unspent uh, 286, so... Butterbean. I can raise. Ooh, I can reduce all. All right, I'll look this up. And twice in a row. All right. Northern Blizzard. Five cold damage. Lava, lava. 10, 20. Ooh, sets enemies on fire. Nice, I need that. All right, I think that should be all. Let's keep going. Let's go up. What the hell is that? Oh my goodness. Ooh, one of the beans. Ow. Oh. Uh, you can't get the jelly bean because of all the goblin flailing limbs on that pile. You should be able to get there if you can get rid of about 10 more goblins worth of mass or distract them some other way. Can I? Holy crap, if this isn't the most disturbing thing you've ever seen, I didn't want to know what was. Hey, uh, guys, can I have those jelly beans? Alele, olulo, elu, plot yard, ala, olu, clicker, Jeez Louise. Well, what's your plan for dealing with the horror? Uh, you have to gobble them off the pile and fight it. Uh, pop three off and fight them. The same again, except five of them. Oh boy. Well, this is definitely gonna be a while, so... Watch this montage of me getting rid of most of the goblins, so one at a time. Bernie, get him! Yeah! No more playing around. Yeah! Whew, close one. Nice. Yeah! What the hell? <laughs> he has a big body and a small head. Definitely this one. Yeah! Yeah! Hell yeah! Shoot! Wait, how many more do I need? Awesome! Get the jelly beans! Yay! Green, green, apple jelly bean. Alright. That's all for now. And time to go to- Ow! If I don't prick myself with the darn- Ow. 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 Alright! Finally got the second part of the beans. Tell- No, oh, wait. Kellogg's Ranch. I think that's where I need to go. Oh, Roy Beans. 
I need to get the I need to get to Roy Bean's house. Wait, wait. Your Alpha Bravo starts uh, bleeping, and the bleeping leaves you an unremarkable sand dune, which quickly becomes unremarkable when the robot buried underneath it wakes up. Oh boy, more scrap for me. Oh jeez. All right, Bernie, gonna need some help. Ah, uh, Bean Shield, and get her. Stun him! Yeah! Then around some old machinery. Whiff, not really. Alright. Get rid of another one. Bleh. And shoot! Whiff. Oh, nice! Let's see which is better. Oh, this one. Pistol! Shoot! All right, I can get this and shoot. Yeah, big duty. Ooh, Elfrado scraps. I, I think that's the last one that I need. Roy, I got your other beans. How you doing on the jelly beans, kid? Got them. Wonderful. Good job, kid. Looks like they're all here too. The goblin should need any. It's a long and weird story. Never mind then. Well, you got a swell job, kid. I've only got one more jar of jelly beans missing. They got they were stolen by a game of damn hippies. Why do they take him? Why do they take him? Heck, who knows what a hippie's thinking? All I know is that they took off headed south in a little big west. Shroom cave. All right, I'll be back. Well, before I could do that, I might as well head back to uh, the professor's place. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, the professor's place. Hey, I got enough scrap for you. Clap it, 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 clap it. Hear a rattling noise behind you. Another rattling noise off your off to your left, and a third rattling noise from somewhere ahead. You conclude that you're either stumbling into a bed nest. Might as well fight them. Three of them. Ah, might as well give them the cold damage. Gold shoulder them. <laughs> snake spleen and a rattlesnake skin. Nice. Wait, why do I got a rattlesnake spleen? I don't know. <laughs> All right, got enough scraps for you. Good, just good to see you again. Have we got the five pounds of scrap yet? Yep, got him. Great. Let me just. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. This will do the trick. Let me just get this running, and then you'll be able to grab a keystone from it. I'll take, I'll take another five scraps for each one you need. Are you familiar with the, are you familiar with the Lost Dutch Oven Mine? Grim place, and that's where I found the ch chases from the fabricator, which is behind an unusual pile of rocks. Seems like a good place to start hunting. Lost Dutch Oven Mine. All right, I'm on it. All right, what should I go first? Dealing with the hippies over at the Shroom Cave, or heading over to the Lost Dutch, uh, D Lost Dutch Cave. However you spell it, or say it. Let's see. Shroom Cave or the Lost Dutch Oven Mine. You know what? I'm gonna deal with the, the hippies first. I mean, I don't got anything against hippies, but I don't know. Looks like someone left their campfire burning. That's dangerous. Um, another in inspection. It turns out to be a nest of fire snakes. That's pretty dangerous. Uh, might as well. More XP for me. A cold damage. Bench. Bernie, gonna need your help. Uh, take this one. And. Hmm. Did it. I might as well take out the far one first. Wait. Yeah, take out the far one. Let's take care of this one, this one first. All right, that's it. And shoot. Oh, not bad. Not bad. All right, next one. Right down the line. All right, shoot, Susie. Nail, nail, nail. 
Your hot damage is impervious for my pants and my bean armor. Land. Awesome. Shoot. And land, land, land. And shoot. Hell yeah. Snake livers, snake bottom, fire moccasin skin. Ooh. Put in your hat to add 20% hot damage. Nice. Uh, instead of a water moccasin, it's a fire moccasin. <laughs> Funny. Alright, to the shroom cave. No comment. No, this is definitely not shroom man. Ooh, can I harvest this? Can I? Darn it, don't got forge in three. Uh, let's see if I could... Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, wait, I could definitely, uh... Yeah, level up. Nice. So that means I can forge this. E. Local weed extract. You do a quickly backflip, but then make some funny noises by flapping your arms up and down with your hand on your armpit. <laughs> the local weed kegels loosen its roots were enough for you to flick a, pluck a handful of it out of the ground and wiring into a little bottle. Nice. So that's how you uh, extract the local weed and all that? Boy, vey. All right, let's head inside. I'm sure there's a lot of shrooms in here. Oh, what's this? Something sparkling over here. Mm, the cultist is totally zonked out. Investigate. The cultist is muttering and twitching in his sleep. Mushrooms crumb litter the floor around him. Uh, Luda's belongings? Eh. Skeleton bone, human ashes, and discipline slip. Okay. Wait, I do need the human ashes because of that uh the recipe thing. Yeah, this time I'm definitely not gonna toss it around. Okay. We need to keep going. Wait. Okay. This is supposed to be over here. But there's something coming out from over here. Well, what is it? You don't even wanna you don't even wanna think about what the guy's hallucinations are. Right. Oh, look, a knapsack. Uh, mushroom map. It contains some loose bits of granola and very, very dirty clothes. Oh, map. Mushroom map. Oh, the thing. Those little. I think it might be spores coming out of that mushroom. Probably giving off some hallucinations. Who knows? I might be affected too. Unless there's like a perk that says hallucinations or something like that. Anything else? Nothing? Hmm. Alright. Okay. So, discipline slip. Human ashes. Wait. There's gotta be. Wait a minute. There's gotta be. Master journal, can cannon loading for idiots. I know I got something. Kellogg's Ranch Workout Resume, Kellogg's Grand Flakes. Oh, Gore Splatter Scroll! That's. Let's see. Take a pile of human ashes, spread them out on the shape of a person outside a red chalk ritual circle, then sprinkle them with the stardust and place a mostly perfect or better glass sphere where there's a heart would be. Anyway, there's a gist of it. The actual text has a lot more of these and those. Do I actually need to do that? I don't know. Well, let's get let's get back to the main objective. All right. So this blood ship. All right. It looks like one of the necromancer's cultists got written up. Two or more of these, and he'll ritually eviscerated. Nothing personal. It's just corporate policy. Hmm. The right over the infraction listed in the slips looks like one of the cultists were gathering dangerous mushrooms. Curious. You stick the slip in your journal. Just check that out. Nice. All right. Let's see what's the mountains. There's a lot about magic. Uh, fairly close to Hellstrom Ranch. Uh, found the discipline slip that mentions. Uh, if only knew your most. If only you knew more about mycology. So it's gonna be somewhere, fa somewhere fairly close to Hellstrom Ranch. Yeah, if only. Looks like it's everything you got so far. Let's see. Yeah. So the Hellstrom Ranch has to be up here. Yeah, right over here. So it has to be nearby. Mm. All right. So, there's a- oh wait, wrong one. Alright, mushroom map. That's what I need. Let's see, it's a hand-drawn map covered in grubby fingers. The label- the sh the map is labeled Shroom Location. It shows a weird com 
convoluted trail leading to a big X. He recognizes X as as this very cave. The source of the trail looks like it's right near the weird fort full of dirty weirdos. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. The, the fort. What is it? What is it? What is it? Oh, man. What is that fort? Maybe, maybe if I were to go over to the... No. The map. I need to go to the map. Where is it? Fort Memoriam? Uh, Breadwood? Military? Uh, Fort Treason? Fort All Dead? No, it can't be Fort All Dead. Um, can't be late. Lazy Dude Ranch? No, that's not it. Um, flip. Fort Memoriam? Fort of Darkness? I don't think that is. I'm gonna check the Fort Memoriam first, and if it's not there, I'll check the Fort of Darkness. Let's see. Your Alpha Bravo starts bleeping, and bleeping leads you to a Mark Marble Sand Dune. Alright. Time to get more scraps! Alright. I ain't gonna need you. Uh, get my bean armor. And... Yeah. Alright, do it! Yeah! Alright, so... Pistol attack. Stench damage. So, yeah, 33. Awesome. More scraps for me. All right. Two of them. Nice. Hooray. All right. E -e Ouch. Nope. This is the wrong one. All right. So maybe check for darkness. Darn it. Requires Elvibrato Keystone. I don't got it. Darn it. Yeah. This is the one. This is the one. Alright. Wait, the shrooms. Hello again! Would you like to buy a mushroom? This batch is extra groovy. Hey, have you seen any jelly beans? Uh, I, uh, yeah, I had some jelly beans recently. I don't quite remember. Oh, they're in my lounge. Where's your lounge? I don't quite remember. It's only three bare part of the time anyway. What? Haha, <laughs> I don't know. Would you like to buy a mush? Would you like to buy a mushroom? This batch is extra groovy. Uh. Yeah. Lactarius, the thick hippocampa mushroom. There, there you are. They are called lac lactarius dirtic hippica, hippica, and they are very special. Sometimes they'll let you see things that only exist in realms outside of realm then stuff. Plus, they're super groovy and mellow. Neat. Oh my god, I don't know what I'll- oh, wait. Let's see. Where'd you say your lounge was? I don't quite remember, only the part of the time anyway. Uh. No thanks. Wait. A lounge. I have a funny feeling that this kind of quote-unquote lounge is probably hallucinating or something, so... Definitely know I'm gonna... Maybe. Let's see. Open your third third eye. Increases your mysticality by 23 for the rest of the day. It's a pale mushroom covered by the powdery layer of spores and lit from within with a subtle glow. Hmm. Well, I'm getting into this mess, so might as well. You get an effect. Uh, Galactarius. Um, you ate a weird mushroom and you feel funny. You eat the mushroom, your eyes all wonky. Well, two of them. Do. The third one is finally open, at least halfway. Hmm. Okay. Can you say your lounge was? I don't remember. What? Check these guys out. What the heck is up? Din, din, din. This record must be a foreign country when the music is way weirder. Um. Okay. <laughs> Alright. 
Hey, come on. If you have any Lacarida Super Monsters, I can find them in a more potent. You see any jelly beans? Uh, no, ha ha ha. I'm not interested in jelly beans unless you're the kind of jelly bean that you're getting completely blessed. I don't think that's a thing. No, it's hard. I heard them. I heard they got them in Frisco. That doesn't seem s Frisco. No, for kids. Ah, uh, no thanks. Do you know where Irene's lounge is? Oh. It's gotta be. Uh, he jerks with some of the apparatus behind him and winks at, and winks at you. Really? <sighs> oh, got no leaves right now. I need to find this lounge. Nope, not that. Wait. Nope. Yeah, he is dressed you in discussion of particularly. Uh, have you seen any jelly beans? Well, first, we'll take care of to. Def we must take care to define our terms. What does it mean to see jelly beans? And what if I see. What if I see as jelly beans are different than yours as you see? Cut the crap before I cut it for you. Uh, no, I have not. But I do know that I read the newest, the newest, and I dare say the most delightful of our little clan is particularly fond of them. You might ask her. Um, do you know where our, our Irene's lounge is? I have been there, but for some inexplicable reason, I was never invited to return. Inexplicable. I would so actualize by returning it to my own, and I do not remember where it was. And Todd won't tell me. It is much frustrating. Todd. It's Todd. Mm. I see. You want anything about the lounge? TT Thumbar for. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, maybe for two hallucinations. Uh, you know where lounges? He realizes nervously at Irene and lowers his voice. I don't really talk to her much. The elves don't trust her. Gotcha. Uh, can never be too careful, I suppose. Yeah, yeah. You seen any jelly beans? Jelly beans? Weird. No, I haven't seen anything like that. As the elf, maybe. I'll give it a shoot. Put over the um store to sell your boots in. That's not mine there. Wait a minute. Dirt water. Let's know. Wait a minute. I got it. hold on. Wait a second. Let's see. I'll bet the mushrooms. Neat. And I'll go to that one guy to make a potion. Maybe a more potent version of it. But, oh, there you are. Uh, in fact, I do. Let's see. Uh, this is a concentrated form of the mushroom hallucinogen manufactured by an insane chemist. Hope you didn't have any plans for the um, weekend. Fully opens your third, third eye. Huh. Maybe I can give this a try. Alright. So, let's try this. Drink it. A car rack, look at, um, let's see. You made the classic mistake. You consume something given you by a hippie. Hmm. You swallow the extract. If the word turns inside out, your mind replaces it. Like, wow. Okay. Doesn't seem like anything happened. Okay. Oh. Let me extract this. Eh. Uncle weed extract. Yeah, 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 yeah. No. Okay. From punishment. Experience from fights when you lose and emaciated. Wait. Uh, let's bring up my mysticality. <laughs> so your lounges. Okay, I am really confused right now. What's this lounge that they're talking about? Oh, this tall, muscular, bald man is leading his students to an aerobatic workout routine. His voice is powerful, yet disconcerting soft as he counts. One, and two, and three, and four. Excuse me, what's going on here? Exercise. You must straighten the body. If the body is weak, the mind cannot be strong. These two are one. Who are you? I am Kurtz. My methods will usher in a few age of power and will. Um, can I exercise with you? Kurtz glances at your clothes. You do not have proper attire. 
Before muscle comes skin, before skin close clothing. You look around, sure enough, everybody else is wearing the same striped headbands and weird fuzzy headbands. Wait a minute, I do got it. Hold on. Wait a second. Oh, Christopher headband. I need that. All right. All right. May I train? Can I exercise with you? Wait, I do not have the proper... Our skin comes clothing. Weird... Striped pants and f weird fuzzy headbands. My pants. Do I got any... Oh, there's a Okay, is it better? There we go. <laughs> that is awesome! <laughs> Awesome. Curtsy and physic. Awesome. That power is surging through you. You have a lot of true potential. Potential. Nice. Very well. Prepare to accept my training. Prepare to awaken your court. The training is long and hard. So long you lose track of the hours and days. So hard you forgot what it is to be an average woman. Phew. I guess, I guess that's it. Alright. Uh, so... Character... See. All right. Ooh, ten muscle. Turns out the guy is onto something. You really do feel stronger. Nice. All right. Time to rep time to get my stuff back. Let's see. Kitchen pants and my trusty old cavalry hat. All right. All right. Where am I gonna find Irene's lounge? Irene. Wherever the heck Irene's lounge is, there must be something. Say your lounge was. I don't remember, it's only there part of the time anyway. Doc, I still need your help. Do you know where I range lounges? Yeah, I yeah, I do. But I don't uh don't tell the talk to do it, if you don't mind. But it's in the cave that where we all four go get mushrooms. Hmm, I don't see a lounge there. It's you gotta be uh just wait a minute. Wait a minute, the cave. Oh wait, that cave! The mushroom cave! How can I miss that? Let's see. Oh, the shroom cave. Yes. I found a crate lying at the. Oh, the last dungeon of mine. Stencil to it. Uh, open with your crowbar. Dynamites. Oh, all right. Miners keepers. All right. Let's head to the shroom cave. And since I probably have my third eye, maybe I'll be able to. Ouch. The cartwheel over here. There it is. Glad I. Glad I opened my third eye. Whoa, groovy man. <laughs> yeah, I need to stop. Your great grand kids are gonna love the kind of music. All right, time to take the beans. E. All right, lot. Ooh, strange lamp. E. Ooh, strange lamp. A lamp imbued with magic and filled with strange lava-like substance. Nice. All right, now I got all the beans. <laughs> All right, I finally got all the beans. Roy, Roy Bean, I got the last of the beans. Looks like someone left a campfire. Mm. Let's fight them first before uh, I deal with anything else. All right, so nickel damage. Ooh, yeah, let's get rid of them. And shoot. Wow. And shoot. Ow. Yeah. Holy fiery nutting balls. Yeah, flat. Awesome. 
All right, snake venom, fire moccasin skin. Nice. All right, time to return the last bean. Howdy, Marie, in line of the last jar, jelly beans. Got it here. Well, I'd be jiggered. I didn't fi figure on seeing any of them jelly beans again. And here you brought the back, brought back all three jars. I ain't much, but I ain't got much to reward you with that and, and a handshake, Marie. But maybe I'll be able to pay you back somehow in the future. No sweater, boy. I was happy to help. Nice. I got all three of the beans. Still not for sale. Still not for sale. Not for sale. Anything else that you need, Roy? Howdy, Marie. Thanks again for helping me get in all my jelly beans. Don't mention it. All right, so that should be... Oh, I already got all the... I already got the spittoon, so... All right. I managed to get all the beans in time. So my next objective in the next episode, we'll be able to head over to... The low dead shopping. Well, let's head over there right now. Uh, your alpha brought a bleeps. Follow the signal because you do. Why wouldn't you? Huh. Oh, more scraps for me. All right. So, nice. I'll do the coal damage. This is a lot more. And shoot. Awesome. More scraps for me. Yay. All right. Just one for the, for the broader scrap. All right. So, I'm definitely going to leave it over here on the last Dutch up. All right. Let me have this. Yeah. Ooh, awesome gin. Whoa. Extension's barely tolerable. All right, I'm definitely gonna leave it over here. I've made some actually stunning progress over here. Um, managed to find the last two of the beans for Roy. I managed to uh, level myself up, and I'm surprised that. Wait a minute, hold on. Great Northern Blizzard. Yeah, I should definitely get this. All right. Yeah, I definitely made some stunning progress over here. I mean, look at mine. Ooh, 60 hot and 60 cold. Nice. Yeah, I definitely made a bunch of progress over here. Made new uh, perks over here, leveled up my skills and all of that, but it's actually pretty well, th well thought out. It actually took me a long time to get through those uh, goblins one at a time, but it was well worth it at the end to get those beans, so... Alright, next episode I'll be able to get, through get to this mine over here. I'll be able to get more scraps and probably build more of an Albrado transponder or whatever it is that uh, the professor is looking for, so... Anyway, that's my next objective in the next episode. So, alright. Thank you all for watching and hope to see you in the next episode. See you then!